going on my people we're back in it for another one some modern warfare deuce i'm not currently recording over any modern warfare deuce gameplay but just thinking about putting it in here thinking about editing and chopping that gameplay up uh i'm ready to go to sleep man i'm, I'm ready for a nap like you know just, baby girl come over here and tuck me in because we <laughs> we're ready to go bro it's just this game it feels like we've been playing it for months or years at this point, doesn't it? This game, potentially, if the rumors are true, we got two years of this game. And it just, it, dude, it feels like I've been playing this bitch forever, man. Play Modern Warfare, dudes go back and play Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. It feels like I'm playing the same type of shit like I've been playing it for years. This game, I'm telling you, man, it's just like, just put you to sleep. Just ready to go for a nap, man. It's like every, everybody, like... I could upload some live comms in the game, but it's like, you know, the, the person who's commentating that gameplay, the person who's getting that gameplay, the people who are watching that video, it's, it's just like one big uh, orgy of, of people napping, man. It's just like one big sleeping orgy, and it's just, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, it's just, this game, I, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. You got all these developers. You got all these resources and all these studios and all this shit. And this is what we're looking at, man. Bragging about all the money that they're making and shit. And this is what it is. It just doesn't make any sense, bro. I just, I like, just thinking about Modern Warfare Deuce, man. I'm ready to go to sleep. There's just nothing to talk about with this game. I'll tell you something that never gets boring, though. Activision, right? Activision always got some bullshit up their sleeve. Something that'll make you cringe. Check this out. I just seen this on Twitter about an hour ago. From the homie over at Charlie Intel. Several players are also reporting a bug in Warzone 2. That if you get over 10 kills in a game, you get disconnected and shadow banned. Like, what? What does the homie Nero call the uh, the anti cheat? The, the the one that they hyped the shit out of, right? Like, oh my God, you want to get Warzone now because we got Ricochet in here? Oh, Warzone two and and MW Deuce is coming with Ricochet, man. It, it's it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's everything you wanted in these games with all these cheaters running wild in Call of Duty. What does the homie Nero call it? I think he calls it Rico Chet. Is it Rico, Rico Chet? Rico Chet ain't working you got clean players out here getting banned and temporarily banned and shit on this game i've been being asked to talk about this for a while now but i haven't actually noticed it from like clean players that i play with or just being in a game and seeing it for myself i haven't actually seen it right like yeah there's a lot of credible people that have shown proof of this out there on the socials but it's just something usually it's something that i would like to experience it if i'm gonna make an all-out commentary on it and you know just dog on activision for it or whatever but i have talked about it in you know here and there in a couple of different commentaries about clean players completely clean players getting banned just for doing good at the game right you got people out here who are getting disconnected and then shadow banned for doing what you're supposed to do in a Call of Duty game. The whole reason why you buy Call of Duty, right? Or the whole reason why you would download Warzone for free, it's a war game. You're running out there with a gun and you're killing motherfuckers, right? So if you're apparently if you're if you're decent at doing that, it's just gonna get you disconnected and shadow banned, man. What the fuck are we talking about here, man? I actually heard from somebody actually a few people just recently but I, I can't confirm this myself yet because i own modern warfare 2019 on my account so i can't check i did check steam but i don't know what is going on with steam but like when i search because i searched cod warzone i searched warzone caldera i searched a whole bunch of shit and i could not find warzone one on steam so i couldn't check my steam account to see if this is actually true but apparently now you have to own Modern Warfare 2019 in order to play Warzone 1, the game that dropped as a free-to-play title. Like, I know it was connected to Modern Warfare 2019, but it was its own entity, and it was completely free. But now Activision's quote-unquote new cash cows here, Warzone 2, which they completely fucking destroyed compared to Warzone 1, 
When you take into account all the changes that they made with Modern Warfare Deuce, never mind the stupid ass little shit that they did with Warzone 2. Everybody's hating on Warzone 2, but now you have to own Modern Warfare 2019 in order to play Warzone 1. What, is, what do they call it now? Warzone 1 Caldera, right? Isn't that the, like the slimiest fucking shit? They, dude, it launched as a free game. Let it stay free. Yo, Activision, I swear to God, man. It's like, there's never a dull moment with Activision, dude. They will always keep you on your toes. They will always keep you laughing your ass off, man. You can't find a company out there. I'm sure people will drop some in the comment section, but I'm just saying this in this video. You can't find a company out there that is more cringe, in my opinion. There are a few that can come close. They're, you know, they're touching that line. They're getting close to that line, but Activision just takes the cake, in my opinion, man, with a lot of this shit. So now, apparently, you got to own Modern Warfare 2019 in order to play Warzone 1. Like I said, I can't confirm this, but I've heard this from a few different people now. So it's like, you, you, know, you see this shit. You got Rico Chet over here banning clean players for going on a 10 plus kill streak. <laughs> like, you just do. Activision, what the fuck are y'all doing out there? See, I'll tell you what Activision's problem is, man. Activision always looks for the cheapest, easiest way to get shit done. It doesn't matter how half-assed it is. It doesn't matter if it even actually works. All they need to do is just say that, okay, look, we did it, right? Here it is. You want an anti-cheat? All these people crying about cheaters in Warzone and Modern Warfare 2019 and shit. And hey, you think Activision actually did that though, just to shut everybody up and try to make them happy adding this uh, quote unquote anti-cheat? No, they did it because they were spending so much time and resources banning all those cheaters, man. That's what they did. They wanted to cut back some of that manpower. Right? So they added the anti-cheat. Here you go. Here's the shittiest anti-cheat we could possibly put in a game this size. And now y'all can shut up, man, because we got it, right? But now it's here. And there's cheaters that are going undetected. And there's clean players who are not cheating who are getting banned or shadow banned or whatever the fuck, man. It's like Activision, dude. There's, bro, there's never a dull moment with this company. I swear to fucking God. It's just, I can't. I'm not laughing at the people that this are happening to. Don't, don't get a twist, man. I'm laughing at how pathetic Activision is. How pathetic call of duty is man this once great franchise man that we all loved and we knew that that's what we were doing man we were proud to play call of Duty. you remember the days when we were proud to play call of duty right you knew when you were getting home from school or work that day you were hopping on some mw3 black ops one whatever the fuck it was man and you knew that all the all your boys all the homies everybody you knew who gamed they there was a really good chance they were going to be on that bitch too right y'all party up have a great time. Do you remember those days when you were proud to play Call of Duty? It ain't those times anymore, man. It definitely ain't those times anymore. And Activision, it mostly it falls on you, man. Y'all just make these stupid ass fucking decisions and you let your developers make some just dumb. I was just going to say something else, but no, I can't say it. Just make some dumb decisions that nobody asked for in your game. Completely changing the formula of what worked for traditional Call of Duty for so many years. It's just, dude, it's, it's fucking stupid, man. You got Modern Warfare Deuce out here putting people to sleep. You're, you're banning, you're shadow banning players for going on a 10 plus kill streak in Warzone 2. Like, it's just, oh my goodness, you can't make this shit up. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out.